Hey up, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave Kay and I am the Yorkshire Bike Mechanic. I hope you're having a good week and you are all well. A couple of months ago, I made a video about using Apple iTags as a method to find your bike uh, and track your bike just in case it got stolen. Now, if you saw the video, you'd be surprised how, it, how well it worked. And I were quite pleased, to be honest, and for 29 quid, I thought it were a proper bargain. If you want to watch the video, you'll see uh, a link to it on screen uh, now. Uh, don't watch it just now. Watch it later on after you've watched this one. So a lot of you mentioned that uh, it, were, it had its advantages and it's had its disadvantages. And like anything, they, they nearly always do. But on the whole, I were quite pleased how it worked. But... What if there was something better than an Apple iTag to be able to track and recover your bike just in case it got stolen, particularly if you spent so much money on an e-bike? Well, I think I've found the solution and in my quest to find this little product, I've searched high and low. Now, I've actually uh, got in contact with a, co uh, a company abroad in, in Europe that actually manufactures GPS uh, tracking devices specifically made for e-bikes. So when I found out, I thought, oh my goodness, this, is, this looks like a really good idea and this could possibly be the answer to be able to find your bike if it got stolen. So I contacted them and I said, right, OK, let's buy a few. Let's see how we go. And what we'll do is we'll give one to one of my customers. I'll fit it to the bike. And we'll see how we go for a couple of months and then we'll do a review on how they felt it went. So that, that, that is what this video is about, to be honest. Now, the unit itself sits inside your frame uh, or just, just on the cover. Now, depending what your frame's made from would depend on where you actually put this. Now, carbon frames actually work a little bit better in receiving and sending GPS signals out uh, because they're not as restricted as, as aluminium frames are. So you can be a little bit more flexible about where it goes. So this particular bike, this beautiful Yeti uh, 160E, it's a lovely bike. Um, and this particular customer, I said, do you fancy having one of these fitted? And he said, yeah, of course I will. So we fit it, did it free of charge, you know, I wouldn't expect him to pay uh, with a view to either buying it at the end or me taking it back out. So this is the unit itself. It's really, really small. This particular end uh, connects up to a separate battery. Uh, that's a backup battery. So if, for example, uh, someone takes the battery out of your bike, uh, then there's a backup battery that automatically takes its place and the unit carries on working. Now, it's a really clever piece of kit and it retails around about 169, 170 quid. Now, this thing works on GPS signals and it's really, really accurate. The thing is, the software that comes with it that you put on your phone is a really clever piece of stuff. So what happens is, like I said, this goes on your bike or in your bike, uh, preferably in your frame if it's carbon. That connects up to the motor and then we configure the, uh, the software to deliver power to it, whether, it's whether your bike's switched off or switched on. So it's always on. And then that is constantly charging up the little uh, backup battery at the side. Now you can configure this to actually send alarms to your phone. If anybody moves your bike, if you switch the alarm on, so you can have an alarm. Uh, and if anybody moves it while your alarm's on, it automatically sends information to your phone to say your bike's moving uh, and you've got an alarm on and I'm letting you know that it's actually moving. And now the other thing that this does is, this uh, tracks via Google Maps uh, your bike, where it is at any particular time uh, almost instantaneously without any kind of lag. Now, the other good thing about it is with it sitting inside your, inside your frame, it's really difficult to get to. doesn't matter if you take the battery out because it still works. 
and this thing is located nearly above your above your motor so you've got to take the motor out to take to be able to disable this and take it out now the other good thing about it is that we can get little security bolts uh, that we can put on your uh, motor bolts to stop or to help prevent getting the bolts out of your motor so someone can take their motor out and disable it. We fit this particular unit in this particular uh, bike. We're going to give it back to the customer. We're going to say, take it, have a go with it, play about with the app, let me know what you think, come back and tell us, and then we can do the second part of the video which is coming up in a second. Hey, up and back again. Five months later, it's like Jules Verne time travel all over again. What a good film that was. Anyway, so we've decided to bring this review a little bit further forward because it's worked really well. Now, Richard Malone, whose bike that was, the Yeti, uh, that was a lovely bike, um, who we fitted it to has come back and said he wants to keep the unit. Um, which is a really good, th he's done a little bit of a review and he said that he's really happy with how it went. Um, he brought his bike in about a month after we fitted it because he said that the, uh, the satellites won't connect in quick enough. It would take him quite a while for all the satellites to connect to the unit, uh, which meant that the location wasn't quite as quick as what it should be. So we decided to move the unit. We put it in the seat tube before, down at the bottom. And so we decided to move it. We put it down the side of the motor. Now that's made a massive difference. And he said that it works absolutely fantastic. The location's picking up quick. It's tracking. Uh, the alarm's working brilliantly. And so all together, Richard's kind of, kind of give it a brilliant review. Now I'm kind of pleased with that to be honest because I've looked high and low for different things to, to be able to uh, track your bike in case it got stolen and I think this is the answer. Now I think it's important to say at this point this is an in independent review. Let's see what's in the box. Because of the review that we got from Richard we were really pleased and we thought we'd buy a couple more with a view to potentially selling them later on. Um, so here we are, let's have a look and see what's in the box. You buy these things uh, per what bike you put in or what motor you've got. That one's a Specialized Bros. This one's a Bosch Universal. So let's see what's in the box. There's two particular packets. One contains the fitting kit and the other one contains the actual unit itself. So let's have a look and see what's in here. Okay, so comes with quick start guides, strict start guides unit this is in one part of the box as you can see it's really really small uh, fairly easy to put inside your e-bike ideally it needs to go down the side of your motor uh, or on the plastic covers um, away from prying eyes that particular emblem needs to go to the outside now these two connectors here it's really easy to fit one of them connects to the battery which will be this one and this particular piece needs to go into your motor. Now, the fitting kit comes with a piece that you need to connect into your motor. Okay, so that connects into the side of your bros motor. Don't forget this is a bros one. And that bit connects into your connector there. Okay, and once that battery's on, it will constantly charge up as long as your bike's switched on. When your bike's switched off, then it'll run from this particular battery. So it's always on all the time. Uh, and on the display on the app, it will tell you how much charge is in that particular little battery at any one time. So as you can see, it's a really simple piece of kit. Easy to fit if you're fairly competent. But I think 169 quid, I think that represents really good value for money. Because as soon as anybody moves your bike and you've set the alarm on, it will automatically ping your phone to say that your bike's moving, which is a brilliant system. Um, and also, as I said before, you can actually get the, the little um, tamper-proof bolts to put in the side of your crank uh, to stop them getting to your motor bolts to actually take this thing out. So because this review has gone really well, I'm going to buy some more of these. I think they're a great product. Um, and I'm going to let you guys buy one if you want one. Um, I'll try and discount them as well. 
and make them a bit cheaper for you. But this channel's not about making money. I want to say it's about helping people with bikes. That's what this channel's about. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. We're in the moment. We're at, sorry. We're at present time developing a new website for us. Uh, so we'll see if we can get some on that website, which hopefully ho hopefully will be up and running over the next few weeks. Uh, I've also got some really exciting news that I'm touching wood about that hopefully comes off. Um, if it does, it's brilliant news for us. Um, so I'll hopefully update you on that uh, over the next few weeks. Hopefully if it comes off, I'm touching wood again, really excited. So thanks for watching. Any questions, please give us a buzz. <coughs> please continue sub to subscribe. We love you watching his videos and have fun. Toodle pip.